We're back for a new season, Giants TV, and we're joined, first of all, by Coach Derek Walzer. Derek, did you have a good summer? Nice and hot. Happy to be back, but honestly, it was, I needed some R&R &R mentally, physically, but I'm looking forward to coming out this year with a bang. Last year, um, what was your experience? Player, first year player coach, how did you find the experience overall? The experience was fantastic. I, I enjoyed every minute, every bit of it. And it's, it's one of those things I came here to see if I was going to like coaching and go down that path. And I absolutely loved it. And I, I'm honestly looking forward down the road when that's all I can focus on is coaching because there's a passion there for it. I love being around the guys and I'm still in hockey. I'm just really right now, I put a lot of time in this summer figuring out what I need to work on. And I think I did a good job. Upon reflection on last year, uh, your first year in, in British hockey, how do you find the standard of, in the uh, EHL? I thought the standard was good. Um, the one thing, I, one thing I'm going to say right now, the standard last year is nowhere close to what the standard is going to be this year. So this league is continuing to grow and continue to attract better and better players. So as long as they keep doing that, you, you really don't know what you're going to walk into. Because last year I thought there was a couple teams, you know, some teams might take the night off and just try to squeak through. This year we take a night off. I think every team in the league is going to hurt you. From a, from a coaching perspective, and obviously you, you touched on your first year, how did you find it? Do you think did you have to go away and look at anything that you that you thought you needed to improve on during the summer? And 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 obviously, how did you find that overall? Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, last year I learned what type of systems I want to play, what type of structure, things I want to improve, things I want to change on system wise. And now the rest is people management. I didn't think it was horrible last year, but you know sometimes when you are a player, you get emotional and you say things that you probably shouldn't say. And, it, and it's going to happen this year. It's going to happen hopefully more behind closed doors. And I, I had to I address the guys right away. I don't hold grudges. That's just the way I've been all my life. I don't hold grudges. If I say something, I apologize. I sincerely apologize. And I got a guy in place right now, Harry Harper, is going to help me out. And we're going to improve on that and, and continue to grow as a coach and hopefully lead us to some titles. I have a pretty good idea how much time and effort you put into being a player coach. Well, what, what's a typical day at this time of year for Derek Walzer? Well, this right now, this is pretty much <clears throat> the easiest it gets for me, really, because we have no games. It's strictly practice. So I already have the next couple of weeks of practices done. Right now, I'm a player. I'm out there trying to teach our systems, but I'm also out there skating, working my tail off to make sure I'm ready for the opening day. So I'm really not doing any extra work. But once we play that first game starting, is it Friday or Saturday? Saturday. Saturday, Saturday against the DEL1 team, that's when I start getting busy. So that's where time is consumed big time because one you practice in the morning then you have <clears throat> your lunch your workout I start cracking video down then I have to spend a couple hours with my kids I get back at my video again for a couple hours spend some time with my wife watch a TV show go to bed and start all again the next day sounds it's a pretty busy time um, this season in the IHL everybody looks all the teams look as if they've bulked up they all look as if they've improved some impressive signings in the league this year who do you think is going to be challenging for the title well, right now, I, you got you got to put Sheffield right up there. I think they're right now on paper they're they're number one. I think they are number one, and I think right now what what I see in Brayhead, Cardiff, ourselves, and Nottingham, it's going to be a logjam, and it's going to be the four of us to overcome Sheffield and beat that team. We have to beat them. Last year we lost the title. We were one and seven. We couldn't beat them. They always found a way to win, and you got to knock the champs off. So I'll, right now, I think it's them. But I really like what Manchester's done, Dundee's done, Edinburgh. I know the guys that are going there, they're going to work their tails off. So it is going to be anyone's game when he gets to playoffs. But for the league title, I think the top five teams last year, again, are going to be in a neck neck battle right to the end. Most teams seem to have bulked up this year. We've got a toughness. Um, you've got Rose Hill and Brayhead. You've Nielsen in Manchester. Mark Lewis has come into uh, Cardiff. And obviously, you know, the fans love a bit of Festy Cups. Do you think we can expect a little bit more this year? Oh, I really hope not, honestly, because I think uh, there's always a time and place for it. But uh, one thing I do like about the guys that we have, and I know, I know the couple names that you're saying out, is our guys contribute more than just Fisticuffs. And if the guys can do that, then I, I don't, it doesn't matter to me who they bring in. You know what I mean? If they're contributing more than just going out in the ice and trying to fight, then I think it's a bad signing. But if the kid goes out there and plays a real hard game and fits in and has a role and, and can contribute besides just fighting, it's a great signing. And it's going to happen. But, you know, for us, it's winning the game first. That's the most important thing. You want to win first. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, as long as you get the two points and you get out, 
who cares? Because those guys put their lives at risk. And I know that. And I will never call a guy on my team and send him out. You got to take care of that guy. It's up to our team to do it when it's time. If they don't want to, too bad. We'll just suck it up and get through it. Let's get on to the roster. Um, we'll start in the goaltender situation. We've signed three goalies this year. Andrew Dixon and Stephen Murphy have come back. And you've brought in Jackson Whistle. What's your plans for the trio this year? Well, I think, I think, I think it's one of those weird situations that when you only run one goalie and he, if Murph got hurt last year, we were in trouble. And it's nothing against Dicko. Dicko's a phenomenal teammate. I'm glad we got him back because he's great in the room and he brings a lot of other things off the ice. But we lose Murph for a while and he's getting older. There's injuries. There's things going on back-to-back -back nights, travel. We need to be able to run a 1-2 combo. And if Murph is hurt, we have Whistle to step in. We have Dicko on the bench. Murph has his time to take his R&R &R and rest to get, and vice versa. Like They're going to fight each other. I plan on splitting them 20, 25, 25 each easily, and we'll see who gets on the run at the right time, and whoever wants the number one, it's a battle. Defensively, you've brought back a few regular faces. Jeff Mason, uh, Matt Nickerson was here last year. You also have Mark Garside. You brought back Jim Vandermeer, which is, for me is a massive, massive sign on, on yourself. But you brought back another big guy, or brought in another big guy, sorry, Rand Martinelli. What are you expecting from him? Well, that was one of those signs, uh, like, you know, me and Thor's talk about our our players and what we're looking for. He had him sign up before he even really knew. And just seeing him on the ice, perfect. Exactly what I wanted, a big body that moves. He skates well, just watching him after two days of skating. I think he's gonna be a fantastic pickup because you know, losing Mitch Ganzak last year hurt. We really had plans of keeping him, but Martinelli I think is gonna come in and bring something else even a little different than Mitch. And uh, right now I like our decor and we still have one more to come in. So we're gonna be real strong in the back end. How's that looking? Do you have any idea who that's going to be, or are you, are you getting close to announcing a signing? Ah, uh, nothing yet, but you know, names keep coming in every day, so we're just waiting for the right one. And when we find the right one, that one that's going to fit in exactly what I want, the top six, we'll pull the trigger. We brought a couple of new forwards in as well. Uh, Alex Foster, NHL experience, over 330 games in the uh, AHL. He's got DEL experience as well. I've seen him on the ice, and he looks an impressive signing too. Well, I played with Alex back in the HL when he was quite a bit younger than I am, and, uh, and I was younger, but Alex is a workhorse. He's a guy that can play in the third line, second line, first line. He's a smart player, and he's going to go to the hard areas. And the fans are going to like it. They're going to like our team because that was part of the reason the guys we got. We wanted guys that work hard every night. And to win this league, you can't have a night off. You have to have balance throughout your lineup, and you have to have guys working their tails off. And this year... I believe we're not going to have any slackers, and we're going to be there right to the end. Steve Saviano, a teammate last year of Alex and Bolzano, has come over with him as well, and he does look as if he's got some speed. He's got, he's got great wheels, and you can see it already. They've played with each other. They like each other. They hang out all the time. Now it's our job to find the right mix. Who's going to go on the other side with him? Right now, Colin Shields is going to get an opportunity, and they're going to have a tremendous speed, and that's, that's what I'm looking for. I want to skate teams. I want us to move the puck, but I want us to hunt and work our tails off. And that's what we're going to get this year. A newcomer to European hockey in general, he's, he's played all his career in North America as Blair Riley. He hasn't made it over to the UK and then Belfast yet. What's the story on him? Obviously, he's going to bring a bit of toughness and, and obviously a bit of grit as well. But when can you expect him in and, and what are you expecting from him? Well, right now we're just waiting for his uh, official visa to come in. So as soon as his visas come in, we'll, we'll book his flight and get him here. Uh, Blair's that guy. He's going to end up playing with a couple of our skill guys and he just goes in the net and plays hard. I've watched some games in the HL. He goes in the net, plays hard. He, he plays it the right way. He's an honest player, and he's not going to be running around looking to take penalties. He's just an honest guy who wants to play legit hockey, and that's what I, that's what I liked most about him. I had a great talks. He just wants to play hockey again the right way and not have to battle third and fourth line. He's going to get good minutes, and the reports on him are fantastic. Coming into training camp, you thought this is your, your second day coming to an end. Um, obviously, you've, you've brought the guys in. They've been on the ice three times already. How's your thoughts so far? Well, you know, last year was one of those things I thought conditioning slipped on us towards the end. We ran out of gas a little bit. Now, the guys are in shape this year. They were all worn. I have no, everything's taken care of off the ice. We have guys in place who are going to run the fitness. And if we stay the way we are right now and we get through the whole year keeping our numbers where they are, we're going to be fantastic. And we're going to be, I think, again, a team that's going to work their tails off every night. We're not going to quit, and we're just going to constantly move our feet, and that's, that's exactly what I was looking for. 
three days of, of pre-season and, and training camp left before the DEL outfit, the Fishtown Penguins, come into town. What's the next three days hold for you and the guys on the ice? Well, you know, we have another tough one tomorrow. Then we get into some special team stuff. And then we're going to have a... We're gonna we're gonna tone it back a little bit. We'll still be on the ice for a little bit, but uh, I believe in weight training. We got to keep the weights at it. You don't work all summer to, to slack off and not get get to the gym. But when we, when we hit the team in DL, I I expect us to compete. I expect them to be real good hockey games, and I want to win. Like we want to get off to a real good start, and we want to bond as fast as we can. And nothing better than that is bonding at home, try to win a couple games, and have the guys go out, have a beer, and relax, and get back at it on Tuesday. After this weekend, you've got another week of training, and then we've got a home and away series against Brayhead. Um, what can you expect from obviously the ten days training, building up to the, obviously the first game against Fife on the third of September? Um, you know that, those two games concern me because uh, you know Brayhead's going to be a real good team. You obviously don't want to go in there and get slacked, or you don't want to get beat. You want to win, but they are exhibition. I want to make sure we're getting through those healthy. I hope, they, I hope they're good, clean hockey games. No, for either side, no one gets hurt. And then we, uh, we worry about Fife because Fife's the first game that counts for us. We want to make sure we're healthy and 100% there. And, you know, I think it's going to be good hockey. I just hope it's, it's good, clean hockey and both teams escape without any injuries. But, I don't know, you look at the rosters, I think, I think both teams are going to battle it out pretty hard, though, just because the way they're set up and how our team's set up. Belfast Giants fans last season were excellent. I think they obviously really appreciate the effort that everybody put into it. What can they get to look forward to this season? I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna see well in general a better league in general. But from us, honestly, I think I've put a roster together with a little bit more more of my taste where we're gonna work hard, and hard work pays off. And eventually, it's gonna come together. And right now, with the pace we're playing, we're gonna play a fast pace. And like I said, we. we we got enough guys that can mix it up all over all over types of games we want to play. You want to play rough and tough. You want to play skill. We have all of a good mix, and I think they're going to be happy with what they see. Coach, thanks very much for your time. It's great to have you back in Belfast. It's great to see the guys back on the ice. Tickets are still available from the SSA Arena box office for this weekend's game against the Fishtown Penguins. We hope to see you there.